Hello, my name is Mackenzie Scipio, Clinical Exercise Physiologist at Ohio Health. Today, we'll be discussing the benefits of exercise. Exercise can increase functional capacity, better pacing and breathing techniques, greater efficiency in your lungs, can reduce breathing rate and workload on the cardiopulmonary system over time, reduce rest time and increase your endurance and stamina. Frequency. You should be exercising at least four to six times per week. Try to be active most or all days of the week. Increase ADLs or activities of daily living around your house. Practice functional skills while also working on the correct breathing techniques. Intensity of exercise. RPD stands for rate of perceived dyspnea or shortness of breath. We typically like you between the four to seven. If you feel like you're working harder than a seven and your breathing is that difficult, we would like you to back down on your workload and intensity. We also look at the RPE scale, rate of perceived exertion. We typically like to target the 11 to 14 and not get you beyond a 14 or in the red zone. You could use both of these scales at home while exercising. Always practice pacing yourself. Practice the diaphragmatic breathing and purge lip breathing as well when you are exercising. These techniques will be explained in other PowerPoint teachings. It is recommended that you exercise for at least 150 minutes per week. This equals out to 30 minutes a day for about five days a week. This can be completed in 10 minute bouts. Remember, gradually build up your exercise time. It can be a slow progression. There are different types of exercises. There's weight-bearing and non-weight-bearing exercises. Some examples of weight-bearing is walking and non-weight-bearing, the new steps, cycling, and water exercises. Both can be completed in rehab. Seated exercise reduces the workload, but can also compress the diaphragm, which can make seated exercise a bit more difficult. Remember always to use good posture when you are completing seated exercise. Progression of exercise can be dependent on environmental conditions. If warmer than 80 degrees and 80% humidity, exercise inside, as well as if it's colder than 32 degrees, remain inside. If you are exercising outside, wear appropriate clothing when exercising such as light clothing in the heat and covering your mouth with a scarf or jacket in the cold. The primary goal is to increase duration of exercise first before intensity. Increasing duration will help increase your lung capacity and increase your stamina and endurance. Practice pacing yourself to reduce breaks during exercise. Resistance training. 10 to 12 repetitions of lightweight exercises using multiple muscle groups. Two to three times per week. You can use free weights, therabands, machines, group classes, and body weight. This is especially important if you are on a long-term steroid because it helps preserve bone density and increase strength. If you are feeling extreme fatigue, breathlessness, weakness beyond normal levels that does not improve with rest or usual management, chest pain, dizziness, leg pain or cramping, or excess sweating, this is when you need to stop exercising and immediately seek help. Lung disease is chronic and irreversible. Our goal is to prevent worsening of the lung disease, feel better, improve your quality of life, and decrease your shortness of breath. It's always important to stay positive during this process.
Here is a clip called 23 and a half hours that explains further the benefits of exercise. After this PowerPoint, feel free to go to YouTube to watch it. This concludes benefits of exercise. Thank you.